Alright ladies and gentlemen, before we get into today's video, I wanted to go over a couple of quick things. One is going to be Piplup Community Day. That is going to be this Sunday, January 19th, in the Northern Hemisphere from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., that's my time, and the Southern Hemisphere, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m., local time. And what we're going to be looking at is quarter hatch distance, three hour lures, um, Piplup will be available more often in 2K eggs and raids, and we have the exclusive move, Hydro Cannon, and there's the shiny family. Now one, do not waste your time on these eggs. If you have watched any of my Community Day videos in the past, I hatch eggs around the clock, and I have never once hatched a shiny during this, and two, the hatch rates are not increased, they're complete garbage, do not waste your incubators or time on these eggs. Two. If you've got a full batch of 10Ks you're looking to hatch, save them. I know it's hard to do, but save them because that's in a super incubator, less than a two kilometer egg, just save it. Next is going to be Empoleon with Hydro Cannon. We knew that move set was coming. So if you look at the new move sets for fast, you're looking at Waterfall and Metal Claw and then Charged. Hydro Cannon, Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, and Blizzard. Hydro Pump is the same move that every Community Day water type Pokemon gets. So that's what we're going to be getting for this Community Day. I do want to pull this up and show you guys. This is what I did to prep for this. Obviously, by the time this goes up, you won't have a lot of time to do it. But hatching two kilometer eggs even before then is what I've been doing. And not that. Piplup right here. I've got a 586, which is a 12, 12, 12. I just keep those because, well, I like them. <laughs> then I've got a 15, 15, uh, 13. So I've got a 96 there. I've got another 96 there. I've got a 93 there. So I've got four saved up already for good IV ones. So what that does for me is unless 100% pops up, all I have to do a shiny hunt because my good IV hydro cannons are already secured. So that's what you want to try to do before community day. Now, before we get into today's video, I did get a little irritated and a little triggered throughout today's video. And the reason why is because with this hatchathon event, Niantic did not release Wormple in the wild. They not only didn't increase hatch rates or shiny rates of Wurmple and Pichu in the hatch pool, they added new Gen 5 Pokemon to that pool. So on top of it already being next to impossible, they made it even harder. And then when I went out today, you'll see the issue we had with finding raids and everything else. Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know, it's not that I want you to see a video of me complaining, it's that... I feel if I don't have a video out every now and then where it shows the true frustrations, I feel like my channel's being fake because everybody wants to talk about, oh, only show the positive, only show the positive. Well, if you only show the positive, it's fake because not everything in the world is going to be 100% positive. But yeah, I did get a little triggered today. Today's video, I was a little bit irritated, but I hope you still enjoy it. I hope my Piplup little guide there helped and I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the video. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Echo, MJ back with another episode of Pokemon Go, and right now we're chilling in a park. <laughs> but the reason we're here is one, I've got 2Ks, one of the last round of 2Ks hatching. I have hatched hundreds, haven't seen a single shiny, still not a shiny, we got Tepig. Give me the shiny Wurmple. Whalmer, okay. The reason we're hatching these eggs and trying to get as many as we can done is I have hatched hundreds of them during this hatchathon event have not seen one single shiny but we also have a wobbuffet raid that i've got to try to hurry up and get in turtwig all right oshwat perfect shiny oshwat again okay and last but not least i think i think this is egg number five this should be the last one can it be fire and a snivy so not even close and oh i did go plus that pharaoh seed though oh, I'm catching 488 cp awesome okay so nothing shiny in the recents but check this out we got a lucky care blast we caught one on the nearby on the way over here and just swapped it real quick landed a lucky so i'm gonna hop into this wabafet raid right quick and we'll be right back 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, wob effect goes down, and you know what? We're gonna do a shiny check while exercising at the park, because you know, exercise is important. Three, two, one on a calf raise for the one time. No, okay, I didn't I didn't think that was gonna even kind of work, but we do have a raid right down here. It's either gonna be a wob effect or eradicate. So let me go ahead and catch this. Eh. Hit it with a grate. Or a Marowak, it could be a Marowak. Oh, if it's a Marowak, I'm gonna be pissed. And down goes the Wobbuffet. I'm fairly certain this is absolutely no good. 549. Yeah, that's no good. And the other raid is another Raticate. All right, so we're gonna go hit that Raticate and then I'm not sure what's next, but we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to hop in on this Raticate raid. And I kind of spent some dust the other night and check this out. I decided to completely finish maxing out my 96% Lucario and give it Aura Sphere to test out that new attack because they said the DPS on it is insane. I wanna see if we can get through this Raticate without me getting knocked out completely because it is definitely better than Power Up Punch. And I just wanna try out the new Pokemon. And just like that, we clapped the Raticate with our new move set. What will we get for a CP on this one? 956, okay, but after all these raids, all these egg hatches, all this time spent, can we get a shiny Raticate? Three, two, one, nope. And 956, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and catch this real quick. We have an appointment to get her to, and then we're gonna grab some lunch and go shiny hunting, raid hunting, and we'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so quick change of plans. Apparently her meeting is going to run a little bit longer than expected, but we found another Raticate raid with like 30 seconds left on it, so we hopped in real quick. So what I'm gonna do while she does her appointment is we're back over in Clearwater today because we had a couple of meetings over here. So I'm gonna head downtown to my old grind spot and see if there's any raids, any shinies to be hunted, look some research tasks up, I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get down there, but I'm gonna smack this up and essentially the game plan today is I want to hatch as many eggs as possible and find as many raids as possible because this event ends tomorrow and I still haven't gotten a shiny from it. Not a Wurmple, not a Pichu, not a Pikachu, not a Raticate, not a Wobbuffet, nothing. The only shiny I've managed to get this event was if you saw yesterday's video, I go plus a shiny sun curtain. Like, what is that? But Raticate goes down. 9.52, CP's not gonna change no matter what, but shiny. Three, two, one, sparkle? Nope. All right, I'm gonna go catch this and see you guys downtown. All right, so it's been like an hour since that Wobbuffet raid and, or Wobbuffet Raticate raid, and all I've been able to find is a clink. Um, no timber, no Raticate, no Wobbuffet. So once again, Niantic drops this event. I waited 20 minutes for a level one to hatch. It was a Whalmer. I don't need a Whalmer. I need everything else that's supposed to be new, but I figured Clint can be shiny. I got one, I can try for another one. So we went ahead and did this one. And 519, if anything's gonna be shiny, it should definitely be that. Can we get the golden sparkly gears? Three, two, one, and no. All right, so I did do a clink earlier um, off camera because I only had a minute to get it done and then I was moving on to somewhere else. This is a 542 CP, so that's a good 96% clink. So at least if I ever decide to evolve that, but yeah, let me show you the nearby right now. So we've got a ride on, a level one starting in 40 minutes, another level four, and Heatran. So all I've seen today are Heatran raids. It's Wednesday, legendary raid hours today. Why is it the only thing Niantic is spawning is legendaries when I need Raticates, Wobbuffets, the event Pokemon? Um, I do have 3.1 out of 3.3 .3 on two 5Ks and 3.1 out of 6.7 on a 10K. And then I've got six 2Ks collected. So hopefully we can get a bigger batch of 2Ks and do as many of those as possible. I'm gonna go see if I can find anything else to do and we'll be back. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back over at one of my favorite parks and we've got our 5Ks hatching. So maybe we can get something fire out of that to make up for this. Oh, there it is. Called it Pokedex. I don't know what this Pokedex is called, but I know that it's one of our regionals here. Maractus. It's not even that bad. All right, so Pokedex entry there. And egg number two, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Maybe something shiny. No, hair cross. Don't need any more hair cross. And 1715. That is no good. All right, so we just got to collect up a couple of eggs. Spin this stop. See if we can get one. And a 2K. Perfect. All right. Um, on the nearby, we have. I don't. Not the slug, but good lord. Sometimes this game is so glitchy. All right, slide over. Okay, we have Eradicate and then another raid at 402. I don't think we'll hit that one, but I'm gonna go hit this Eradicate. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the uh, sun is pretty much set on our adventure here. And I just have to say that Niantic failed this Hatchathon event 100, 1,000, 1 million percent because they dropped a new Pokemon update in the middle of this Hatchathon. So the already rare shiny Wurmples and Pichus and stuff like that are now clouded with hatching the new Dex entries as well, which don't get me wrong, I don't mind hatching the Dex entries, but give us one event at a time. But they didn't do that. It's a fail, whatever. Anyways, we've got seven two kilometer eggs hatching. This may be the last batch, I don't know. And there's, once again, a not shiny Pichu. Oh, I guess our 10K is gonna pop too. Cranidos. So I don't know how many more batches of these we're gonna get because this event ends tomorrow at four Swablu. And I don't, I'm, I'm just kind of sick of it. Another not shiny Pichu. Another not shiny Pichu. A not shiny Lillipop. And I think this should be the last egg. I'm not certain, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Pat Rat. Oh, nope. This should be the last one. Turtwig. That's, that's my point of these events is you've already got an egg pool that's got a thousand different Pokemon in it. They add a hundred more for another event and just push it back and back. But then there's people I saw today posting stuff on Twitter like getting four Wurmples out of 10 hatches, all four of which were shiny. Um, we couldn't find any raids today that were anything we wanted to find. We found a couple of Raticate, one Wobbuffet. I couldn't find any Timber. I couldn't find, it was all legendaries and Rhyhorns. Like people need Rhyhorn in 2020 of Pokemon Go. If you do, that's not my problem anymore. Anyways, if you did enjoy today's adventure, please make sure to leave me a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Comment down below how this failed event is doing for you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one.